Hello. Welcome. Why is the song not called Hat Chat? I'm sorry the song's not called Hat Chat, Rand. There's so many. Who is our mm-hmm. special guest for this episode? Mm-hmm. Welcome to the Hat Chat Podcast. I'm Chris Trot. Uh, I'm Ross Hornby. I'm Ravs. Just, uh, just Ravs. I'm just Ravs. And mm-hmm. I'm Alex Smith. Thanks to Dream State Empire for that That's song. Right. Thank you. Is that a new it. song every week? Yeah, yeah, we get a new oh. fingle every week. That's cool. Fingle, yeah. A fingle. Okay. Yeah, that's they're quite often based around jingles. the hat, yeah. the hat mm-hmm. film's theme. I think you guys told You've me this last. You've been here before. Yeah, I think yeah, you told yeah, me yeah. this last. It's been a while. He has no, been here before. It's the same. I've got no was, memory of this place. It's a long time ago, to be fair. Yeah, but we've changed our format a little bit. We used to have hypotheticals. Okay. Now we just chat shit. Now we just chat shit. I like that. Which is kind of what we did before. Yeah, yeah. We did do that before. Sometimes we talk about what's in the weird news. Okay. Yeah, like, you know, it's like sometimes weird Ross things. Some weird weird yeah, Ross. sometimes Ross says some weird things. Yeah, sometimes. Okay. Obviously, right. there's a lot of horrible things in the news. Oh, yeah. But I mean, there especially also right some... now, like the bombing of civilians and stuff. Yeah, like yeah. That. yeah. yeah. Well, don't bring it down. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. we really look at stuff like, guy gets stuck, uh, yeah. stuck yeah. in clay pot. Did oh, yeah. you see that guy get stuck in that his pot? Knees was it, like, were... Help me! <laughs> and his knees were too far in. So oh, yeah. I think I saw that. It was at like a party and he was lying down and he'd stuck himself in a ceramic pot and people were kind of like, are you, are you okay? Is this a like, bit? It looked like a bit. It did. Like it was just like he was taking the piss, but he was genuinely stuck, which is horrible. Hilarious. A joke at the beginning, uh, a they nightmare. The, the, yeah, they're going to have yeah. to. I yeah. don't know. I didn't I see it. Has, it's still in there. I, I didn't have not figured it out if they're going to crack it yet. <laughs> okay, so like yeah. the extreme it, Buddhist monks that used to... Yeah, encase themselves, encase entomb themselves. themselves. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is it one of those priceless clay pots? Is that why they're having the conundrum? Is, like, well, is this man's yeah. wife This is a Ming vase. It? I don't know if we oh, should Oh, not a Ming vase. Yeah. <laughs> it's like how they say that they should put the uh, nuclear codes in the body of a living person so that when the president <laughs> makes a decision to nuke someone, he has mm-hmm. to kill someone to know what it feels like in order oh. to get the codes out. Oh. You know? I, so. I feel like though, if you were, were like a president or whatever, would you not just be like, listen, Secret Service, like get, get me... Get me, like, codes. Get, no, get me a random homeless man. <laughs> so you, 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 your initial thought is to go and just kidnap start someone killing the off homeless. the street. Give me a prisoner that's on death row. Well, yeah, that's probably more suitable. And like a homeless a, person. And like a ham. Little, little dehumanizing. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, a person who's done yeah. something yeah. absolutely yeah. fucking that, terrible. Yeah, yeah. That, that's just, why I changed. That's why someone who had I changed nothing but tragedies. No, right? yeah, 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 yeah. I changed. And the, now I changed the prisoner. I changed the prisoner. Okay. I a prisoner and a hammer. Yeah, if it felt like it took so that we can build a little house together, nice little commune. The way you oh, do it. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know. If that's, yeah. Now sounds like slavery. So like you. What? No. Together. Oh, oh, okay. Sure. And if, if they do a good job, then they will be free. Right. Well, that sounds <laughs> like that's exactly of the what slaves. That is. Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh they, they know the, the, the way that they know as a prisoner, and they'll be free to be a new man. Jesus. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That's yeah. savage. Well, You're a savage person. Yeah, but quite, I think that's a good idea. I like which part? Like idea. <laughs> some of it. <laughs> some of what he said was a good idea. Find someone that's done something awful, uh-huh. like be homeless. And then... <laughs> but no, that, that, yeah, is, a, that like is a tragedy. It's hard. on hard times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Make it even harder. Not like that. By making nuclear codes, slicing a little slice in the side of a pineapple, pushing the code into that slice, then pushing the pineapple up the arse of the person. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was in Little Nicky. I, I was remember the bit surely the president needs to kill like a family member, someone dear to them, yeah, rather than just like a, but isn't that rather than like a secret agent or whatever, because it's just like that's just easy. Yeah, because they don't know them. Isn't a pineapple like got tons of little pains in it? Though, that, like, no, that's exactly that what it makes, is. You, makes you hurt and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean the spiky part? The little spiky part. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 not the fruit bit. Like the bit that you eat is like got all these tiny little little needles. No. It like might. The, well, it, well, if you eat the, enough pineapple, your mouth starts hurting you. Know and that's I mean? because it's got oh. an acid in it that breaks down. Yeah, but are you going to shove acid. that up your arse? Well, yeah. yeah, but you're not going to peel yeah. it. But also, just, well, just the, do the outside your... of a pineapple would be awful to try yeah. and get oh, out of your arse. That's, that's, that's the main issue. Yeah, yeah. I'm not worried about... I'm talking about the innards. It doesn't matter yeah. how yeah. pineapple yeah. is. It's going to be spiky. Yeah. Uh, you know that's going to be traumatizing, but also, what's that acid going to do to the innards of your anal lining? Really, not a lot of good. Yes. Not a lot. Of good. There's yeah. nothing. There, that's why you can tenderize meat with pineapple juice. That's why if you leave oh. uh, meat uh, in pineapple juice for a couple mm-hmm. of hours before you cook it, it'll is be it a lot good more chemical tender. peel as well. It probably is. I mean, I wouldn't say good. It's going to do. Deg- I, I think the acid in it like breaks like down natural. like proteins or something. Breaks breaks down like your mouth lining. Breaks down meats. I think that's correct. And we're going to put that as scientific fact and move along. Okay. okay. All right, let's talk about something else. What else is going on? What's been going on in your life, Rav? Yeah, Rav, yeah, you tell us. Uh, not a lot. Be as really. broad as you can. You know, just, What's uh, going on in your life? Just, like, you know, <laughs> doing some therapy. That's fun. I'm, I'm also, mm-hmm. like, recording some YouTube videos that I'm streaming and... Uh, nice. I was trying to do dry January, but we fucked that for a friend's birthday. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah, so it's now damp January. Um, damp January. Just drizzle yeah. January, yeah.
Uh, well, it, it, was like a, well it was like it. a free day affair because they were over oh, from right. they were over okay. from Dublin, so you know, ah, I, making I, the most of it. Yeah, yeah I had a couple couple drinkles, yeah. um, but now I'm like, no more drinking. You know, you can name drop him. It's Paul. Fox. Paul Choi. It's Paul Choi. <laughs> he's a bad Choi. influence. He's a bad influence on everyone. He's been in Vegas. You saw him in the vlogs. Oh yeah. Oh, he's in it very little, but those vlogs. Yeah, he made an impact. He's a fun guy. He's a fun guy to hang out with. Yeah, makes you want to do fun things. Mm-hmm. Like drink. Well, <laughs> TwitchCon this year, Rotterdam. Yeah. Oh, yeah, We're that gonna was get announced. N- you guys yeah. going to get naughty in the rotty? <laughs> That's, I, I feel like you just made that up now. I've, I've not been, heard that term I've been before. saying that for like Naughty in the rotty. I, I, I yeah. even tweeted it. Mate, so. getting grotty and rotty. Getting grotty and rotty. Rotty and rotty. Rather than, I guess, naughty and rotty. Uh, it's like June 28th, 30th or something like that. would be nice and summery. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be pretty Yeah, they emailed us right? about it recently, the TwitchCon. It is also TwitchCon, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, we can just go for one day. This time, we don't buy the whole weekend. We buy a single day ticket. We go. that's what we did for Vegas, though, right? I think we bought all three. We went there for like an hour. Or two. We went yeah. there for an hour and a half. Yep. Oh, we did by the whole weekend. Oh, we did by the whole weekend. I don't know why, yeah. but yeah. we did. Um, but this I think time- that should be a message to anyone who's thinking of going. It is shit. It's kind of it's like it's, it's like it's it not, is, the con is kind of the worst part. It's, it's nice the worst part of going. It's the, the fun part is yeah. like everything else. It's nice to do the meet up part, you know, like yeah. to meet people yeah. and like have a quick peek around the floor. But after that, it's just like, yeah. all right, let's go get fucked up. Yeah, you know I mean? like, yeah. let's go have, have a party. It's, it's also a perspective thing, right? Like we of are course, yeah. streamers and creators, yeah. whereas mm-hmm. there's people that want to meet up in the community and of course, it's good for that. The con itself. It's like just the a, physical makeup of the con is like any other convention. If yeah. you don't like conventions, you're probably not going to like Twitch yeah. con. Yeah. yeah. It's all the same stuff, basically. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Mm. I get it. It's to meet up with people that you wouldn't usually see. Exactly, right? Like Amaranth. Like Amaranth. Yeah. Got a nice picky. Got a nice you picky. did get to see Amaranth. Mm-hmm. I, I was just standing next to her. Pics. Somebody thought she was a mannequin. Oh, no, you sent me them. Yeah, uh, yeah. From, the, from the video, they thought yeah. she was just a mannequin. They thought she was like a well, like a fake like a wax work. To be fair, it was, like, it it was very work. strange is, to see her. Is there any streamers in Madame Toussaint's wax thing yet? Just there's got to be. You think? There's got to be. There's got to be like a ninja in Wait, there. Wait, well, there's, there was Zoella was in. I in think one. there is. Yeah, really? There. Yeah. So there's, there's oh shit. Yeah. Okay. I'm there's pretty also sure. Different Toussaint. But I don't know if they kept yeah. that up for all the streamers and yeah. stuff. I but know. I, I don't know. I just think it's. Oh, there's got to be a Mr. Beast. There's got to be. Oh, there's definitely a ninja. Hasn't there? There's got to be a probably a PewDiePie. I reckon he was done years ago. Yeah, probably. Probably, yeah. Yeah, he's been think so. pretty big for some time. Yeah, yeah. Before he, saw. yeah. Anyway, um, I think it'd be fun though, like convention, just like all hanging out, having a good time. I really enjoyed them back in the day when we used to go to the Insomnia ones, the mm-hmm. really early Insomnia ones that like stayed up, stayed open until like we played board games at one point, yeah, like three a.m. in the morning, yeah. and like they had like food places open really, really late, and I mm-hmm. managed. To, I remember get like a crumble. I remember going to one of these little trucks <laughs> that had this really nice apple crumble and custard Mm -hmm. at like 3 a.m playing these board games and i was like this is awesome this is i would go to this this is like spending three days hanging out with your mates doing the stuff you do in the evenings on your computer basically but in person in person yeah yeah and and that was really cool and then since then it's just got worse and worse where it's not really about staying up and hanging around with people all the evening it's like come in do the stands buy the stuff see the thing get out you know and yeah and and also with with twitch con most recently i noticed that I saw more people with partner badges than than just than people regular coming people. to see partners. Yeah, and and you realize you're probably yeah. they charge us for tickets now. You don't even get a partner discount anymore. No, we we, we, we used pay to get full like, price. Used for to get like eighty pounds off, and now it's yeah. just like you pay regular price. And bear in mind, they already take you know thirty percent at least of your revenue every month. So like you're making them a fair bit of money, and they don't feel and like you're they're the draw fit to the yeah. Twitch and well. then you're the draw for people, and then you look around and realize like no, no, you're the one, you're the ticket buyer. You've essentially been duped into buying a ticket now because I guess you could argue the people that buy units and stands yeah. there, they also have to pay to be there. Yeah. So yeah. it's not like it's much different i guess we're not selling true but they're yeah advertising to make to the masses right? so it's more like a trade show then really isn't it than, in a way. than, a, than a convention yeah. it like does, does go that way connecting it? creators who use the tech to the companies that like you know if somebody said to us hey we're gonna start a con a bit like ces but smaller and targeted at content creators where we'll mm-hmm. have a bunch of the kind of camera providers you use a bunch of the hardware providers you use software people you can come talk to them build relationships start brand deals that sounds great but essentially, we're in this weird halfway house of a TwitchCon, like doesn't know what it is. And there was it, a like, couple of cool stands there. We'll say like mm. Road was there, yep. and they had some really cool yep. tech. Mm-hmm. That was like cool. Twitch focus. But it's down to the individual mm-hmm. brands, right, to like make a cool, yeah, cool stand there. 
and uh, want we should, to. We should make a con con. Yeah, should we make our own con? Con con. No, it's called con con. Right. And where everything is a con. <laughs> <laughs> it's, well, you're being conned you're as, being you, as you step swindled. into the door. They, take, they shake your hand, conned. take your watch. Welcome to the con. And then they all say it with a wry smile. Well, welcome to the con. Is it the con? <laughs> oh, not the convention. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Come um, on in, asshole. But yeah, but, but going back to Rotterdam and the fun things, obviously um, it's an interesting city. I've never been there. It looks interesting. Yeah. It looks it's nice. It's the fact mm. that they move around, and I think that's cool. Like, yeah. Amsterdam was awesome. Yep. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed Amsterdam. And, that, and the Netherlands is so flat. Just walking mm-hmm. around is so easy. You just wander around just the town. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah, it is yeah. good. Yeah. 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 They cycle everywhere. Yeah. Not like so Bristol easy. when you got to psych yourself up for Park Street. You get to the top, you got to change your clothes. You know? Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> I, when I was moving here, I was like, I'm not living at the top of Park Street. There's no way. Uh, yeah. I will not do it's it. It's a great place on the triangle. No, yeah. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Yeah. It's a hazard with the icy conditions right now as well. Mm. Oh, sure is, Christopher. It's a hazard out there. You can say it with a Minnesotan accent. I can't do those. I can't I've been do that either. Fargo recently. I love Fargo. Good yeah. fucking show. Yeah, yeah. I've not seen the, not seen the latest one. season. No. Though, I've watched that one at the moment. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. No, they're both great shows. Very similar, actually, aren't they? Sort of is there like a new, new one? Because I've not seen the... Is it the Chris Rock season? No. Oh, that's the new, new one, I think. Oh, okay. I, I'm watching the John Hamm one. Oh, yeah. John um, Hamm one's good. And the woman that is in um, Ted Lasso, uh, who plays... Uh, she owns like so a brand like, agency. Yeah. She plays the girlfriend of Jamie Tart She's or whatever. She's Ke- yeah, Keely's in. Ke- was yeah, yeah, she Keely. in, that? Keely's in Fargo. Remember. She's really what? good in there. She's, She's like really. the the main protagonist. I fucking yeah, yeah. hate to turn Ted Lasso. It's yeah. all controversial. Do you know Temple? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's yeah. really good in. Yeah. She's really good in there. In Fargo. Grating, I guess. And it's just because no one's that bubbly. That's yeah. the character. Too but that is the character, yeah. isn't it? But, yeah. So they played it well. Yeah. yeah. Although, her, like looking at her other stuff outside of acting, mm-hmm. she is that character as well. In a way, oh, so she's it's just very the like same. outgoing and bubbly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, yeah, a lot of people stand her for that reason. Oh, well, right. Slay Queen. So, Slay Queen. Slay, Queen. Mm-hmm. Slay um, Bestie. Uh, <coughs> serve cunt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say now, right? They say serve cunt, serving cunt. Really? That's a thing. Yeah, it's like a slay term. Uh, serving, like, yeah, it's ser- so you're serving a look and that yeah. look is like mm-hmm. don't fuck with me because I, I think, I'm a cunt no no it's like you're serving I guess I, I don't you're know if that's what the meaning platter. behind it like, is it's like you're serving cunt on a platter so I think it is I don't know I've seen it in a bunch of Instagram comments it's quite promiscuous <laughs> so you know Jesus I think Christ. Christ. I'm hoping it's not like you know some fucking Instagram co- comment or like Bob's and Virgin like serve cunt or something <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I hope that's to- I hope I've not misinterpreted it you may have done Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, uh, before I start using that term colloquially, sorry, mm-hmm. all the time I'm gonna. Apparently, it. it stands for charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. Oh, okay. Oh, so it is like a power. Okay, thing. I like that. It's like powerful. Yeah. But it doesn't sound like that. It doesn't. Like, it you doesn't need to not. know the code yeah. to mm. understand it. Mm. Well, that's very exclusionary. And yeah. Everyone should, say, everyone should um, have to say it to their mothers first. Yeah, yeah. Before they say it in public. Yeah. And see what happens. Wow, mum, you're really serving cunt today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, whoa. Which means uh, right, wow. charisma, you need this. Sorry, just so you know. Uh, it oh, means, oh, it means oh, before you oh, get mad. <laughs> and I know you're going to go <laughs> fucking nuts. It's a great acronym, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't know, you stupid cunt. And I don't mean the acronym this time. <laughs> All right, yeah, well. seems really useful mm-hmm. that one too. Yeah. <laughs> You're so welcome. Therapy. Uh, he's just serving cunt. Uh-huh. Therapy mm-hmm. is a big deal. Yeah, it is. Therapy is an important thing to do, mm-hmm. and I think hat films should do couples therapy. I think that'd be oh, interesting. Really, like a throuple ca- therapy. Do you think you could like convince a therapist to like do a video know. of you guys doing like a couples therapy, like a group? I think that would thing. probably demean the. It would take the. the therapy, it might it? do. Although well, there is a yeah. show, isn't there? It's kind of a private thing. Literally a couples therapy show on is it BBC three somewhere or something like that where it's very yeah very stern and very that re- solemn that reeks of shit that they're like tell tell them to make this up for the TV it's got to be a good show I you think gotta, it's dramatised yeah it's got to be and prodded by the yeah, I don't know because yeah it's so for sure I think it's actually just called couples therapy oh yeah, maybe um, yeah Ruffles. is it real it was meant to be real as in like is it like is, is it's real people real? seems wow, okay. real but it could just be yeah right. could, um, couples therapy it's oh, a wow, documentary it's series combat. following couples as they seek help of uh, psychoanalyst Dr. Is it Squid Orna? Game-esque? So, like, the Guralnik. losing couple Get, dies. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. You but didn't yeah, how, uh, hard enough. <laughs> how deep do they go on camera? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, true enough. Well, I'm uh, saying that. You know, Big Brother and stuff. Mm. People are more than willing to 
Yeah, but all that stuff does still Let feel staged, out. doesn't it? Yeah. Because it feels like when any reality show now is just, what's the real reason they're going? They're not going to Love Island to find love. Yeah, <laughs> like, they're, really? they're not. I just they're love going there for shagging and like money. They're just not. They're going because they, they know that it's going to boost their Instagram profile. Yeah, they want some Instagram brand deals. They want to sell like a fucking toothbrush or some shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe it's exactly, those kind exactly of people. That. Just that. You know, those yeah. kind of people looking for a profile and to boost their status, but also looking for love. I don't think <laughs> I there's any love true. in there. Well, they're looking for like-minded people that are willing to go to an island and be on TV. That's a very specific niche. If they find love, good for them. But I don't think that's... I reckon most of them are not really bothered about that part. They're about all about the social media element. It's cynical, but I think it's also just... But it's all yeah. the producers that well, are doing it. They're I feel like they're all going to end up in fair together. later in their lives. Pro- true. They I probably think they will. will need they it probably should sure. definitely get yeah. it. I, I think it's worth doing, though. I didn't know what to expect. I went because I, like... You know, I felt like I had a lot of burnout. Like, around... Every, it seems like... For the past two years in September, I feel burnt out as hell. Have you noticed the YouTuber burnout? The 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 everyone's like, YouTubers. I'm leaving. Yeah. Except I'm not really leaving. Here's my second channel. You know in what I mean? Way. Oh, I've is that seen what that yeah, a not, lot of people. Yes. Yeah, I've not like Tom so Scott's just, got a second channel, is not he? He's, he's oh, Meat I Canyon. He was just, I, was actually, I thought he was just going to leave. I th- no, I think he does a second oh. channel as well, doesn't he? I don't. I could be wrong. It's over, yeah. but not really over. Like, yeah. He's just not. It's like they're like soft retiring to get the views on the. I'm quitting. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. You've gone for that. Yeah, the thing is, I don't think they need to because yeah. all of them will get millions of views anyway. So I don't think that's. But also, like... they are. They are also in like insanely unhealthy work cycles. Yeah. Like Tom yeah. Scott. I'm gonna make a video every day. Like that. that's, that's it's insane. I think that was Tom Scott's thing. He's like he's released yeah. a video every week. Yeah. His stuff is like years. really well done. Yeah. yeah. Like takes a lot of research and time to make those. But it does thing. create burnout. You're right. And it does. You've, you've actually taken that step, which a lot of us haven't. Yeah. Well, I was just like, my God. Like usually I can just like, I'm like I'll be better in a bit. I'll just go through this. But this time I was like, oh, this is like really bad. This is like, I don't want to get out of my bed bad. And I was just like, all right. Someone in chat was like, try therapy. And I was like, okay. Thanks, F- chat. Thanks. Thank you, chat. So Tedage. Actually- Shout out to Tedage. There you go. Tedage, um, a specific person. Yeah, so he, okay. he, I just, his message, I was like, yeah, he's right. He's right, I should. And I just went, and it's been pretty good. you got to have the right oh, nice. kind of therapy as well. Yeah. Like, I had CBT back in the day. Cock and ball um, torture. Cock and ball torture, which <laughs> Ravs immediately. <laughs> like, I, was, I said this to Ravs cock earlier and ball off, torture. and he was immediately like, oh, cock and ball torture. Yeah. It's, so, yeah. I mean, where my brain goes to with that cognitive behavior therapy no nah, no nah, nah. cock so and ball torture, ball torture. Was ideally yeah. the, mm-hmm. you're looking for the same thing but yeah that's quite a, it wasn't really fixing my issue I went in with like an idea of like ho- hopefully having like a talking therapy mm-hmm. kind of thing and just yeah. having a generalized let's just figure this out but instead it was like a, no let's focus on a specific category of a thing that you want to get better at and oh. then it's kind of like steps to making that better by exposing yourself to the thing Kind of like getting over a phobia, right? Mm-hmm. It's like you guys start with a tiny little spider in a different room or a picture of a spider and it will work up to an actual spider. Because I didn't know what seaweed, like what, what it is. I just always yeah. assumed that you get you sit in a chair and there's like a million flashing lights and I'm like, you're, not you're clockwork healed. orange. <laughs> you're, you're, you're oh, really? So your eyes would be forced open. If only it was that simple. Yeah. You'd be screaming yeah. on a chair. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, CBT is really good mm-hmm. if you know you are you have a very specific thing that is impenetrable for you alone to get past like a lot of people get it for social anxiety it's like I, mm-hmm. i'm in a crowd of people i just want to run away from people uh so you go to cbt to like specifically work on that mm-hmm. but i think there's also the issue of those things can come out of other underlying issues um that probably needs more talky therapy mm-hmm. to figure out like yeah a lot I go- of things are all linked together aren't they yeah i go in every week i don't know what i'm going to talk about even on my first session i was like i don't know what the hell i'm going to say to this person and I guess they're trained to get shit out of you because that's like it, 10 yeah. minutes in, I'm like, blah, 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 just saying all this shit, you know? Yeah. And they're like, why are you speaking gibberish? And I'm like, I don't fucking do you ever know. Freeze what's out? Just do you ever just try and freeze them out? Just wait. Just oh, out. no, because um, I'm yeah. usually quite. Or you try to. Thing is, because obviously streamers mm-hmm. are kind of trained to just keep talking regardless. Right? I think As in, like, you just do it. Yeah, yeah exactly. So you fill the air. Uh, so, yeah, maybe that's like a streamer type but thing. But maybe that's not a good thing. I don't, I, know. I, I don't know. I think there's like a. There must be some sort of science to that because I feel like uncomfortable when we stop talking and they're just like, yeah. And I'm like, I think that. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I've got a tiny penis. <laughs> <laughs> let's go into that. Let's, let's talk about let's that. Talk about that. Let's get. To, uh, tell it's us really small. about that. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah. I really didn't want to get into this. Yeah. That's all I've got oh, on shit. my mind. Fucking, it's come up. <laughs> it's definitely a technique yeah. to it. I think mm-hmm. it's what Louis Theroux uses as well. He uses a lot of silence to 
encourage the other person to keep going <clears throat> and not that it's like insidious in any way but i mm -hmm. think it's just effective and also you can cut people off easily in terms of i just did it then um you can cut people off and stop the information from flowing, flowing from someone because that's what we learned at doing documentaries at uni let them tell the story yeah they have to fucking edit yeah. it with like hours and hours of footage afterwards which is a nightmare but yeah yeah that but yeah, it's just nice talking about it. I, w I walk away from it. Like, they don't really give advice. They just kind of like, help you explain or say why this is a thing or yeah. help you understand, like, your core values and stuff like that. I just walk away like, I got to chat shit for an hour and they can never repeat it to another human being. And that's that's cool. You know, it feels nice. But even if you did a crime? I think if you do, I think it, there is. It's if you do a crime, actual. if you do a crime where you're going to put yourself in harm, they, they can. They have they, to. Yeah, they hit the big red button. Yeah. Which and then the police the novelty size yeah. button as well. Knocking on the window constantly whilst you're in there, yeah. just waiting to come in. Yeah. She told me it was confidential. <laughs> and, then, and then she hits the red button, the window's open, then she's <laughs> overwhelmed by police dogs. <laughs> got another pervert, guys! It's yeah, the method I, even I got out of him! Release the stuff is great. <laughs> yeah. Catching Catching pervert. criminals and pervs. <laughs> I've seen yeah. Sopranos, so I pretty much know therapy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, oh yeah, yeah. That's what I <laughs> thought it was going to be like. They even asked, "Do you want to like lie down on like the?" Did they? Yeah, yeah. The, they actually like, asked that. There was like the long, the, the long old trope. The chaise yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the sh the chaise long, chaise long was there. And like, you can lie down if you want, or you can sit. And I was like, I can go sit. I feel like it's just I don't want to be in the stereotype. It's too disarming lying down. Yeah. Thing, so mm -hmm. yeah. You know, they might go for you. The dogs might jump. And also, that's yeah. A, yeah. You want to be ready with the hands. That cheese long just gates you up the yeah, second yeah. you say anything wrong. Is this, you know? this, a, time in. <laughs> is this a hinged or sprung chaise lounge? <laughs> uh, nice try, yeah. bitch. <laughs> You'll never catch me alive, jump okay, out the window. Okay, sit down, Mr. Yeah. Rav. So, nice try, bitch. <laughs> she knows too much. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you are extremely hostile. <laughs> We're need more sessions. So let's start with your extreme paranoia. Yeah, yeah that, that'll be the beginning. How many knives do you have on you? Uh, 17. <laughs> Technically, they're all legal. <laughs> they're just all taped together. Yeah, I recommend it. Individually, less than fun. Inches. It's fun I'm, and nice. I'm going to take you up on that recommendation, mm -hmm. Raps. Thank you. You're, You're very welcome. Me. You were like that person in chat mm -hmm. that's pushed you, and now I'm going to go as well. I'm glad. Maybe I'm, people are going to think I'm like starting a cult if I'm getting people to go, though. I don't think therapy is a I cult, don't know if it's, yeah. No, I don't. It's, it's not. It's, it's a very good thing for you, you know? <laughs> I think it is a good thing. Mm -hmm. I think we yeah. should all get it at some... If you can afford it, it's expensive. Mm -hmm. It is expensive. That's, That's the, the is. big yeah. barrier. It's yeah. like you can either wait on the NHS for, like, for years. For years. Yeah. And you may not end up with the person that you want, mm -hmm. and you're worried about losing your place in the queue. Mm -hmm. So switching up people might not be a good thing, but... Pay to win. Pay to win. I got very lucky on my first like one. Like a battle pass. <laughs> yeah. 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 Level yeah. 14 in my battle pass. You nice. know, a couple more sessions to get yeah. the Peter Griffin skin. Oh, it's <laughs> it's be been gamified. Your, your therapy's been gamified. Yeah. Well, they, said, they really do know you. I said I, well. I said I need a battle pass. Like, first things first, my deck's very good. I need a battle pass. I need a little gold star every time I come in. Yeah. 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 Give me goals, milestones, and mm -hmm. XP, actually. Mm -hmm. I want my XP. Mm -hmm. And maybe some features. And can we just turn on, on this fake camera for red light just to make me feel like I'm making content? You know, just yeah. to, Could you just type yeah. in my chat? Just give me a little response. Yeah. Now. You're just, just sort of saying, oh, you're talking to me. Streaming. No, no. So could you type in this chat, please? Yeah. And yeah. Also, you're so inspirational, yeah. King. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That's you're really serving hard. cunt. But yeah, I'm going oh, to give you 50 quid. If you could every now and then give me five quid, thank you for the sub. <laughs> God. Up, you're so dysfunctional. <laughs> <laughs> you're so dysfunctional. Yeah. You are Rams, I think yeah. we need to talk about this. Actually. <laughs> this construct you've created this for yourself. Sorry, Donald. Donald. <laughs> <laughs> Donald. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't know any of this lingo, this mm, Twitch lingo. I presume it's funny, though. Yeah. yeah. And I laugh because I get where you're coming from. Yeah. But I don't know what Donald is. What uh, is that? Donald is like. Um, Ignoring a donation or like, Dono walled. Or, up a wall. or ignoring chat and waiting for a donation to come in to see uh, the message. Oh, right. Yeah. I guess we always, oh, we always yeah. read them. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe we aren't walling. Chat will know better than I because I'm, even I'm not super sure. But right. I, it's one of those two. Okay. Ignore, yeah. Ignoring messages that aren't donations. That's the one. That's Dono oh, wall. Shit. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. So it's like you might as well be talking to a brick wall. Oh, you know? well, not oh. talking to chat then. Yeah, yeah. Basically. Uh, yeah. Okay. So just ignore your fair position. What's, what's the next level of that where you're like sips and you just ignore everything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's just a, that's just sips that's the iron curtain that's the iron curtain, just, the, iron just, curtain. Yeah. Yeah. the iron curtain <laughs> <laughs> the sips wall lol uh, well we kind of do a little bit of gameplay and then we read out a big old fucking bunch I, think, yeah, but we I don't know if it's good for chat or not 
true. I don't it's know. been like a good 10 minutes just like catching up on everything. Yeah, but I think that like, I find it, re- I, I don't watch ma- many streamers, but when you see people doing something and concentrating on it and they cut off and they go, hey, thanks for the 10. It's just, I, I find that more jarring. True. Than if you just took time to just do it in game. And also we breaks. record our videos, so we, we yeah. literally don't We'd be want be pissing to over that. our content with just, well, that's the thing. Uh, that, that was the contentious issue of like moving to streaming more often was that people on YouTube actually hate that kind of shit and they don't go to streamers for that yeah. reason. And so we've made a kind of a compromise. I think it a took balance. some time actually. Yeah. Like, like you've gone the other way. Mm-hmm. So you started streaming and now you've got a YouTube channel. Yep, yep. Got How's a YouTube that channel going now. Possibly? That's going pretty good. Yeah. You know, it's been a bit of a nightmare trying to get anything recorded over like Jingle Jam and Winter and yeah, right. trying to get people to do Are content you to with and stuff. People in, yeah. Trying to get people in to do stuff and they're busy as well, so it's been yeah. a bit of a nightmare. It's the age old but group content is uh, yeah, yeah, so hard to organize. Yeah. The trick but is to have three on the channel to begin with. Exactly, that's a that's a huge move. Yeah. You know, it's less uh, money though. It's going pretty good. I'm, I'm less money for you yeah. individually. So less money after split everything, yeah. including yeah. clothing. Yeah. Mm. Oh god. And deodorant. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, you know, I thought I'd saw Ross wearing that. Yeah. yeah. No, we swap. We swap. Yeah. This one. We yeah, swap yeah, around. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. He said. But, he said he'd wash it after. It's, it's going good. I tell him not to. It's an interesting time <laughs> to get into YouTube. Everyone's like, I'm quitting. I'm out. Don't start YouTube. It's shit. And I'm just like. But Twitch is dying. <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh yeah, well, didn't they yeah. lay off like 400 people? Yeah, yeah, yeah like 30. And they, don't, they haven't. The they didn't make a profit. Yeah, they're taking they're taking 50, they're taking 50 percent. Yeah, off we've of all those streamers. Spread wide though, like we've always. Oh, I know. We've we are wide spreaders. Oh, you yeah. know, it's yeah. yeah. Mm. We were wide boy before wide refs. Yeah, yeah, you were. You were. Uh, mm. But yeah, we've always like utilized like Patreon and things like that, and now YouTube memberships. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Justin TV. Justin TV. Justin TV. <laughs> I, 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 I used to use Justin TV. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Back in the day. Watched the streamer on there once. Oh, shit. Nice, nice. And I was Damn. like, this will never work. <laughs> <laughs> now look at you. That's my fucking job. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, YouTube. We It took a while for our audience to get on board with the idea that, like, now we're going to record this mm-hmm. um, and then read subs and stuff afterwards. I remember there was a bit of rubbing the wrong way mm. early on. But I think, you know, people adapt to it and <coughs> people quite like it now, I think. Yeah. Or at least the ones that stuck around still like it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Our viewership's mm-hmm. like 10 times less. Well, you guys did the absolute <laughs> right thing with your memberships yeah. and stuff. So it's like, yeah, we're going to not fucking censor anything. Fuck this. Yeah. Just become a member. It's more like fuck yeah. the YouTube algorithm and chasing that dragon. Mm-hmm. Well, it's just a great way to push people off the platforms, yeah. Yeah. like in general. Yeah, and, push, and we've been and flying and push it like, users away from why they liked you in the first place because exactly. you're changing so much, trying yeah. to Damn. like your, your guys' yeah. video tonight. Like, I I've also done a well Vegas vlog and it was like, oh, yeah. you know, fucking doing the gun stuff. Yeah, like, all Ross. don't have fully automatic. You you were telling me don't have it because that will just like kill oh, your well, video. Oh, well, I put that on there. So. Yeah, yeah. Oops. But well, I think I also put it on. It was fine. Mm. But even things like that, you guys are like, fuck it, YouTube members. Here's us shooting a bazooka. Nice. Like, fucking yeah, yeah. Yeah. As long as it doesn't mm-hmm. literally delete our channel with strikes. Yeah. yeah. We're more than willing to be way more yeah. open mm-hmm. and not be like, oh, mm-hmm. we shouldn't swear in the first, blah, blah. I, I think yeah. a lot of the really big and the person that told us about the automatic guns thing mm-hmm. was um, a couple of the other guys we were at the shooting range mm-hmm. with and I think they're worried about that kind of thing a lot because they're often in a really great position and they don't want to topple off of that like yeah. stack of perfect right now I think mm-hmm. it's, I think they know like as soon as they fall out of that algorithmic yeah. preference mm-hmm. they're like fuck yeah. like so how do I stay within it whilst with us I we've think been on we've, the floor for some time yeah yeah so we, we, <laughs> we, we, we it's, <laughs> so it's, the only way is up baby rather yeah. we, rather we're not successful anymore I think um, because of an algorithmic wave we're mm-hmm. successful because people keep, like your, keep like your coming shit. back to watch yeah. it and mm-hmm. I'm not saying that they're not successful they, they have a huge chunk of their audience as well mm-hmm. that love them for them mm-hmm. but equally when you're riding high mm-hmm. I think a lot of people pay a huge amount of attention to like what's going on on the platform because they're so terrified of it fucking them over because it can so easily yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like, it's... they wouldn't be making videos about one man one jar yeah yeah, yeah exactly um, <laughs> that's a good point yeah you should have put water in it yeah. you know yeah. give it more more we did so yeah, we were discussing liquids mm-hmm. honey mm-hmm. So sort of um, honey and oh are you picking what liquid you'd put in the jar if well, potentially, smash, yeah. If uh-huh. it were to what crack would inside, the this is the one-man one jar. We did a video recently about it. Yeah. So if you were to insert yeah. a jar uh-huh. into your asshole, yeah, and it were to smash, uh-huh. what liquid would be best to like contain the? Shards? Is is pseudo cream a liquid? Is that is that yeah, is that, yeah, that, that, that so. like maybe yeah. pseudo, maybe some like pseudo, well, pseudo, pseudo cream. I was yeah, I was just trying to think of something that yeah. grabs the chunks. It's gonna sting. You don't want to use yeah. expanding foam because mm. we knew a guy. <laughs> did we tell you about that time? <laughs> no. 
There was a guy that put expanding foam down his pee God. hole. Oh for no! For a sexual high. Okay. But it got stuck oh. and expanded so much that he now has to piss through a hole under his gooch. <laughs> because he <laughs> ruined his bladder. He oh, ruined Jesus. his bladder and his erectile like fucking musculature. Hell. So How that, fucking horny do you I, have to this be? Is, this is what I said. You know what I mean? I don't think it's horny. Like, for it's God's sake, it's just yeah. stupidity. Just squeeze just. your fucking hog, man. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. Like, but they yeah, thought, but yeah, that, but foam. yeah. I want to sound so hard. I'm gonna deal with this banning <sighs> foam. Yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ, I've never got foam. sounding. Would you do yeah. like a tester blob on like? Okay, how much does it expand first? <laughs> you'd, like, you'd think you'd put it on a little tiny like. Yeah, maybe put in a nah, mate. Maybe you'd put in a straw you'd first. Get a straw on like you do with the <laughs> pump. You lick that bad boy, <laughs> stick it straight down the hole, and just hold, hold till you can't yeah. pee anymore. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. God damn that horny <laughs> some brain. Some people, some people would call him a pioneer. But like, how he went, he, he was he a pioneer, pioneer, an astronaut. He yeah. went somewhere yeah. you've never been before, yeah. and no one else is going to go there again. Was he expecting yeah. to like, they come out like, a, like I think an he elephant's was hoping he could, like, <laughs> I don't yeah. really know what he expected. Because things, yeah, once it's in, how are oh, you getting out? Bottle rockets. Yeah, like a bottle rocket. Yeah, <laughs> builds up pressure and then. Oh. <laughs> Fucking hell. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Rupture destroyed his bladder from probably when he tried to oh, piss. Yeah. And then obviously he couldn't. Goes back. And so I wonder how much time he spent in absolute agony, but also embarrassment for like, at what point do I go to A and E? Go to a &E? I imagine there were probably several months of agony. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think, yeah, do you think one Dude, man one jar showed? Sure. No, I mean, like before they were like, <clears throat> this is bad. I need oh to no, go no, to they would have gone immediate. I imagine they would have gone the same. I day. reckon there was like a good hour of like. Fuck, this is so He can't piss. It really he would try, think, you'd yeah. be at any within the first hour you I don't could. Know. I'd be Imagine thinking, that. Like, I could get adrenal down there. So I think there would be there would, there would be some time oh, spent trying to solve it yourself. Yeah. Because yeah, you've, so. you've got to yourself Just into a sticky like situation. There's it got to be a way. You're going to try so and rationalize it, being like, well, okay, I, I, I can deal with this. I can, oh, it's hurting a bit more than I should. Oh, I mean, God. I, and then eventually you just submit you and losses. go, I've got to fucking go to There were people that were also like putting like a bake pump. Uh, then there as well, and like I mean, fucking, doing some inflation, doing some inflation, like it's just gonna inflate your bladder. Inflating, yeah, it's, it's fucking dumb. It's, just gonna... it's so dumb. Oh, making their foreskin. That doesn't a sound boring. as bad though. Oh, yeah. that's pretty cute. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cute, right? But you'd be little talking balloon. a little, little balloon foreskin, you a little know? mushroom, more like yeah, a little mushroom, yeah. a little, little forest oh. mushroom, yeah. wouldn't it? A yeah, bulbous exactly. head and a nice, <laughs> nice stalk, just making little button. Him breath. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a little button on the end of the stalk. Yeah, yeah. I'd come along and I'd gather that one, chop it up, chuck it in a suit. <laughs> Sonic oh. boom! <laughs> Make a little dog out of it. Like yeah. Make a little, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Cannibal's wet dream. Yeah, yeah it truly yeah. is. Yeah. So, um, oh, speaking of which, mm -hmm. did you do you know what a nully is? No. Do you guys know what a nully is? No, I do is? not know what okay. a nully is. Please. A nully in line. or a nullo? A nullo. Mm -hmm. It's a nullo. Mm -hmm. It's a person that's had extreme body modification to nullify their sexuality. Oh, wow. There was two guys in the UK oh, like last week that have been sentenced to mm -hmm. years in prison for enabling a guy to have his cock and balls cut off by hand, live on video. By hand. Wow. Live on video. So oh, this gosh. guy who was called the, the eunuch maker... Uh, this, so you know what? I've heard... Have you heard about this? Were you telling me this the other night? So the, not their sexuality, yeah. their, their sexual organs. Yeah, basically yeah. There was a new story about it not long ago. I could try and find so it. So he had a surgeon, a nurse. Yeah, uh -huh. I think, did I tell you about this the other night? Yeah, I Cut think so. Cut his nipples off. Uh -huh. And then he had this other guy who was strapped down to a table and anesthetized. And then they just cut his um, balls and dick off with a knife. Wow. And then they streamed it to paying customers. In the UK, what, what, on the, the oh. dark web, I assume. Ah, uh, well, yeah. I haven't found it yet. Justin yeah. TV, <laughs> Justin Justin TV. TV. <laughs> that's um, really fucked up. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it was like consenting, and it's all like you know, an extreme mm -hmm. kink ultimately, like an extreme. Well, it may, it may not even be an extreme. You know, maker. Let's call it. I don't want to call it a kink because it might be something more complicated. In the UK. Yeah, in the UK, yeah. The you eunuch get maker. That surgery the for eunuch, free yeah, you like, definitely said the eunuch maker. That's why he dubbed that, himself. That was the, the yeah, why, yeah. why that though? Because eunuchs are people without balls. No, no, no. Right, why right. go that route? What? As a participant or if you're to remove your sexual organs, you yeah. want to remove them, right? Yeah, you're a nullo. Yeah. There's a way to do it what? through a, like a proper system. What's the system? But I guess it's expensive. Which system? A like bunch of rubber NHS. bands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, the NHS like is not going to cut them off if you just said I want to. I just want to cut them off. 
Oh, there needs to be like a. You well, yeah, you go through a process. Go through a long obviously. process. So it will yeah, definitely well, not be. You'd a, have to pay for it. This guy well, said he paid five hundred quid. NHS. <coughs> well, it might not be deemed a medically necessary surgery. I'm not this sure what it. the laws are. What yeah. are the laws in the UK? I'm not sure. They may know. say that you know you you have the right to mm-hmm. have your body modified to yeah. whatever you fits your gender. I don't know, but they'd have to argue it from a gender perspective. I have no idea. Mm. We well, I think that's not the case with it. No, I don't think that's the kink, is it? I think we were talking about. You know, if a unit gets his balls cut off, can their dick still get hard? You know, that's what we um, were talking about, and this is when you told me about the eunuch maker. If their balls, yeah, I think if their balls, it's like it's like with dogs. If you cut their balls off, they'll still they can still probably get hard. Yeah, it's not a case of that. It's just a fact. What's the point at that point, though? You know, well, what's the point. Well, no, because actually, you can still ejaculate when your balls have been cut off. Can you? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Just yeah. Removes the the little. So there are actually two places. Oh. There are two oh. places where like the ejaculate comes from mm-hmm. in a human, yeah, uh, okay. in a male. Like so, there's the sperm, and then there's like the carrier fluid. Okay. And so the <coughs> sperm are kept in the balls, and I think the carrier fluid is actually produced by glands. Um, oh, okay. Like, above your penis, you just oh. get the carrier fluid instead. Yeah. So oh. and that's why um, vasectomies work and still produce. Um, but you would be you'd be annoyed if you didn't have a load. Is that what you mean? No, I wouldn't be annoyed. I just, well, it I, sounds like you would. Be. I just mm, thought that enough. nothing would happen. No, you know what I mean. No, you get all the all the stuff. <laughs> okay. Just uh, no just little squirmy the, boys. Uh, little squirmy boys looking for an egg. No, it just mm. screams. It just goes, ah! <laughs> like, oh, weird. <laughs> I knew this would some there be side effects. <laughs> just say so no, because nothing's coming out, it will still make the sound. <laughs> But yeah. without the yeah. liquid, it the sounds sound. really strange. Yeah, um, it sounds be, like a small uh, screaming creature. You, usually, your dick sounds like, <laughs> right? like, like yeah. the, yeah. it's like an old man clearing his throat. Yeah. <laughs> got, oh, I've got vocal cords. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's time to make him sing. it's like a sad cartoon car that's out of steam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just dust yeah. comes out. Uh, for science, uh, it's apparently the the fluid, the carrying uh, fluid, comes from the prostate. Oh, yeah. okay, right. Cool. Oh, okay. So that's where you get your yeah. wad from. Mm. <laughs> and then it um, gets mixed together like a nice cocktail. Mm. Prostate <laughs> balls. Good old prostate. Like, uh, like what, what cocktail would you compare it to? Like a pina colada, maybe? Pina colada, but that's like crushed ice, and it's quite. <laughs> but it's milky, and it's sort of. It's um, a bit milky, yeah. But a little bit pineapple-y as well. Mm. That's true. Mm. If, you, if you eat the right things, it could be pina colada. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking more like a Coke. Why? Oh. Because you mix it with like carbonated water. Yeah, and, that's like, true. The Have you got- is- have you got a soda stream? Can you fizzy come? I've got a soda stream. But you Time to find out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure, any liquid, I'm sure. Mate, once you yeah. start putting fizzy milk in your porridge, yeah. you do not go back. <laughs> really? To fizzy milk. No. <laughs> <laughs> you it's a, it's you not go, a this idea. is a mistake. What have I done? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. This shouldn't be like yeah, this. Yeah. Fizzy milk. Um, yeah. Fizzy milk. Apparently there were nine people in, who were part of this um, castration. They got to nine. Group. Yeah, they made around 200 gra- uh, grand from the people... Requesting that's not bad. I, I remember. Can, I can see that there is a s- set of people mm. that are willing to watch this kind of thing. I don't think pay. it was. The, it was uh, yeah. I can see that because you know, like you've seen Squid Game and stuff. People mm-hmm. are willing to watch heinous shit for money. And Squid arguably, the person is consenting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, there's like that sexual cannibal in Germany, right? That was like got convinced the yeah, guy, and yeah, yeah, like, yeah. he got he off on. Dick. What get, cutting his deck off and eating it, yeah, yeah. consensually, yeah, yeah. So like, well, one of the guys who was doing it apparently he uh, appeared in the dock using a wheelchair. He had his own leg, penis, and nipple removed. Yeah, so he's already. Wow. Yeah, oh yeah, they put his leg in dry ice until it fell off. What consented the to it. Fuck. Oh my god. Wild, huh? I mean, you could say you could wait, well, and you can, and you do argue that consent is based on you know a person being of sound mind, and you may mm-hmm. be able to argue that this person There's is not, not sound mind. mind. I'm going to so, stick my leg like, in the fucking dry ace, yeah. But yeah, is the eunuch maker uh, qualified to determine the mental? Oh, state? he's an expert. Eunuch he didn't maker. get the title. I think he's too busy counting the cash yeah. uh, at the time. <laughs> but no, he got pissed off. So this is the whole thing. The guy said he was going to pay him five hundred quid to cut his dick off. And up just giving him 50 quid and he got pissed off about that and that's part of the reason they got caught they got caught because they got into a huge argument about oh this. my god and um he, he was, was he like expecting a thicker cut of meat and he was he actually just got a little... no, i think he was one of the one of the four five hundred <laughs> yeah apparently there, there, on the there, ounce. <coughs> yeah there was a video that jurors were showed oh. of the act happening oh my oh, god right? imagine and, um, being on that they were, jury, they were jury duty possible like that. imagine yeah. being called to jury for that but, oh mum i've got jury duty oh brilliant you catch those criminals mum i saw some horrible things Today, <laughs> oh, it's awful! Yeah, yeah. You and the oh jury. my god, that's uh, yeah. eight, eighteen plus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, because he lives, because li- people are still yeah, living at home yeah. in their thirties, guys. Course, Come on. Yeah. Um, it's quite remarkable. None of us have ever been called for jury duty. I think. <coughs> I think uh, someone else has, yeah. enough, isn't they? But um, yes. 
Yeah. Because uh, it's really disruptive. Maybe they've it seen our... It took like the, four weeks, I think, yeah. The local judge might have seen our content and be like... They like can't judge. Myself, they shouldn't uh, judge anyone. I'd like to be Let's excused on the guys. basis being a, a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> the, the most recent... Charismatic, use, unique, yeah. uh, <laughs> nervous, and tactile. I don't know what it is. Yep. Nocturnal. 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 Turtle. <laughs> Turtle. <laughs> anyway, yeah, no, but... um. Yeah, there was uh, what were we talking about? The guy, yeah, the guy said in the video, the guy doing the cutting, he's like, "Well, this has got to be a first. Can't believe I've done this one." Also, like that, like he's talking to himself, just like the he's flabbergasted as to what he's just experienced. And I'm just like, <laughs> "How the mean? fuck?" As in, the guy that's just cut the dude's dick off in the video is like, "Well, I can't believe I've done that." Yeah, he he is like, he's what, look, what has he done until then? Has he did six others? Exactly. How did he get the name of uh. Unit Maker? But yeah. like, no, no, he, apparently he reacted. Stuff. I think maybe this was the first one he did or something. And then other oh, people wow. were like, I'd like you to do this too. But he was like, it's just, it, I kind of just found it bizarrely hilarious in the same way that I found the guy putting the jar up his ass kind of funny. You, is that it's just like, pioneers, it's, so, all pioneers. it's so absurd mm -hmm. for a person to go through that moment in their brain of like, holy shit. I've just cut a guy's dick and balls off. This is a wild day. Yeah. And I'm like, what do you mean this is a wild day? You, what on earth are you doing? You know, like, it's just... But I, also it being the other guy and being like, oh, I'm fucking raging you did that. Where's my extra 450 quid? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what no, you're... no, he paid the unit maker. <laughs> yeah. He, he yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean. yeah, so paying to you done. He was Wait, paying, so the unit, oh, the unit maker oh. sobbed himself in. He was like, I, no, I fucking I didn't get paid. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he got into an argument because he felt like he hadn't been properly uh, compensated. I'd love to see, what's that, his name, the small <laughs> claims court? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Judge Render. This something. is what I'm saying. This yeah. is what I told you about it because I'm like, yeah. this is such an absurd series of events that's happening. Uh, do you think we're, um, yeah. like human centipede like inspired some people? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Well, there's, there's definitely some. Yeah. Well, it, it yeah, it's that morbid fascination in your mind, isn't it? Somewhere it, in America, it, there's some. The, uh, there are people yeah. being tied together by their mouth and anus. Somewhere. That's also saying like video games cause violence, right? It's the. Yeah, but you can be inspired answer. by uh, an act. I, think, <laughs> I guess people not of sound mind will always be mm. encouraged by being. Because I'd be like, well, that's how it was shown you know in the film, but how does it really work? The, and like, oh, they're all dead. The human centipede would make for an amazing monster in Lethal Company. Like, oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> if it catches you, you it just see it add, it add, it add you to it. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> You're like, what happened? Like, still talk. <laughs> it's still talking. Talk. Yeah, but it's muffled. It's muffled. Like when that's <laughs> that yeah, is yeah. a great idea. Oh my God. Someone mod that. Maker, please. Yeah. Please oh make that God. human centipede. <laughs> yeah, what happened to Ravs? Oh no. He got caught by the <laughs> human centipede. <laughs> oh, I'm not the <laughs> You see him with his. You're at the front like, run away. <laughs> yeah. Run the guy at the front can understand all the people yeah. behind him yeah. and can communicate on behalf of the centipede. <laughs> Oh my god. That's incredible. Good god. Uh, That's such a good mm. idea. But fucking mm. oh, eunuch maker. It was that, scary. Was that like his, what, did he call himself that? Was that like his online name? I think that was his reputation. He got yeah. his, his nom de guerre. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, now he's in jail? Uh, yes. yes. Now they've so. gone to jail. So if you want, if you're looking for that service, uh, you're going to have to go somewhere else, I yeah. guess. Uh, was he like, did he have like a background in surgery or anything? Yeah, no. why? Although no. there was a nurse uh -huh. that helped remove one of the guy's nipples. Okay, that's fucking um, mad though. Yeah. I'd use a bull clip. Well, this a is what Rav and a bull clip. So Rav said, um, just use like elastic bands. I think that's pretty great. Yeah, yeah. It's you know, elastic bands. Just Docking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've got quite a long nipple. you got to wait. you got to wait a while. have quite a long one to. Hell. Yeah, well, purchase. think about how the lambs feel. They're getting their de tails docked every time. Mm. Just use um, yeah, dental floss, tie it tight. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, it's another good solution. I got yeah. rid of a uh, can of wire. Mm. A skin tag. Skin tag doing that once. Yeah. Did that work? Yeah. Mm. I'd freeze it off, personally. I would. Um, I'd just tug that thing. I kind of want my nipples. Don't want to lose them. No, I don't. Would yeah, you rearrange them though. Well, well, yeah, like, would put, you like, put, them else, put, put them, them elsewhere, elsewhere or what? Yeah, yeah somewhere else. Or like, have vertical. Have large, vertical. I don't know. I feel like dinner good. plates or beef burgers or maybe uh, just a modest meatball. Mm. I've, got like a, I've got like a modest meatball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But actual it's a conversation like starter. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the thing. Like the moment you get naked, it's like oh, now you've got something to talk about. Like yeah, specifically, they're, they're yeah. Vertical now. So yeah, so they're, them they're not where you, you would expect them to be. Mm -hmm. So that's cool, right? Where are you going? Start Come back. Yeah, would, yeah, I'd yeah. have mine split into two each and then arranged into an S shape. Ah, <laughs> I like that. The cool so they're all semicircles. So yeah, semicircles. <laughs> oh, I see. Kind of interesting. Yeah. You yeah. Could go for the cool S. The, 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 the disjointed pepperoni look. Yeah. It's a lot of. 
a lot of nip to spare, isn't it? It's a lot. I, and I don't have like body hair, so they'd have to do it with like scalpel, yeah. and just yeah. scarring. But it looks cool. I got the cool S on me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I got the nipples replaced, yeah. and then I had just cuts put yeah. in. And you're like, it's <laughs> S. It's S for Smith. You know, like, yeah. ah, okay. Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I have to go. Uh, cool. I need as anywhere else I can go, but apart from here with you right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like when yeah. back in school, I used to scrape it into the table using a compass. <laughs> but now it's on me forever. And yeah. my nips are part of it. Yeah. yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. I love that. That's good. I don't know. I feel like I just like, like them where they are and like wouldn't want uh, the unit maker to freeze to them off. I've never change them. Yeah, I've never thought to just swap them around or move them around or yeah. pop well, them somewhere else. The third one would be quite funny. Mm-hmm. Nubbin yeah. somewhere. Yeah. I got splinched as a kid. So. Splinched? Splint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What on earth is splinching? Splinching's where you don't properly... Trans- teleport yourself in the Harry Potter universe and it fucks your body slightly. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah. I remember that in the Harry Put Potter films. Yeah, as if you fuck up a flu transfer or yeah. you fuck up a... Um, yeah. Your face permanently turns into a stack of logs. Yeah, you get splinched. Oh, no. I'm always going to be <laughs> a stack of logs in a yeah, fireplace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Number splinched one Harry Potter myself. podcast, guys. Uh, <laughs> we've kept it. We do mention it. Far. I haven't seen it in a while. Coming up next, we're going to yeah, talk yeah, about JK. Yeah. <laughs> JK. <laughs> JK. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have reached our time limit here. Okay. Uh, like yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Ramps, where yeah. can um, people find you? You also do a podcast. You've got a uh, podcast. Yeah, we have about zero, on it. zero degrees. Yeah. You, you you've been on, on it. You're, you're next on the list. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm about for it. you. We need to get you on. Oh, wow. Um, so- Headhunted. Yeah, yeah, no, head that just, yeah, let me yeah that's I Zero Degrees. Very fun yeah. podcast. We answer a bunch of dumb questions that people mm-hmm. send in, and yep. they're usually really fucking dumb. Um, and we, I, I stream at Ravs underscore on Twitch, and I'm also on YouTube now. So, nice. you know. And he's going to be playing Lethal Company with us in a bit. So. Momentarily, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Well, Check yeah. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you to our supporters, mm-hmm. of course, on mm-hmm. Patreon or Twitch Join or YouTube it members right now um, you guys make this podcast continue to happen and hey if you want to send in a fingle just like uh, Dream State Empire I didn't mm-hmm. write down yes yes you, you've um, send it to hatch at hat-films.com and if thanks you, again and if you don't become a member to Hat Films well, what's going to happen uh, unit uh, the unit maker is going to get you unit maker well, we, get, we yeah. become yeah. the yeah. unit makers mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> unit breakers <laughs> Thank you very much for listening and watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye, Indeed. everybody. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye.